Hello and welcome to another Fabula Ultima character idea. This is the Beast Commander, a guide by Fabula Points, me. So the way this works is we're going to take the Wayfarer's um, Faithful Companion and we're going to take the Commander skills to be able for us to attack and then be able to let the Beast Companion attack in the same turn. So there's a bit of kind of technical how to do that, so let's jump straight in. So character sheets, so we are the Beast Commander. We're going to choose she, her for pronouns just because the, the commander has a female portrait. Uh, identity, we're going to go uh, ally to the elementals. As we're going to have an elemental companion and we can make this kind of like the thing. Um, theme, we're going to say is a leader. And origin, we'll say elemental planes. Planes. That was better than that, right? Okay, cool. So, like, I'm imagining, like, a human who was born in elemental planes who wants, like, you know, like, greater, like, protection sort of things for elementals. Cool. So, bonds, we get that as we play. We don't start any. Fabulous points is three. Experience points is zero. Okay. So, equipment. Uh, let's go to the equipment tab, which I don't have open, which I should have done. It's around... No, went too far. Okay. So we're going to pick a great sword, a bronze sword even, on the main hand, because we're going to be a Dex and Might build. And then we're going to pick the, uh, yeah, let's pick the Sage Robe, why not? We won't have access to uh, martial armor yet, or else I would pick something like the bronze plate. So we can say initiative is minus two, because we know that. So the Sage Rove costs 200. The sword is also 200, so we have 100 Zenit left. Okay, stats. We're gonna go for D10, no S10, D10, D6, D6, D10, D6, D6. Cool. So let's work out our defense. So our defense is dex plus one, so that's 11. And our insight, our magic defense is insight plus two, which is eight. So we have our stats. Character level is five. The first class we're taking is commander. Okay, let's bring up the commander quickly. So the free benefits of the commander. We've done this a few times. HP plus five and martial and ranged weapons without an S on the end. Cool. So the combo is we're going to start with Queen's Gambit. We're going to take one level on that. Now we're going to be commander two. And Queen's Gambit is free attack with HR of zero. Let's us use charging cavalry for free. Still use MP cost. So we're gonna do Queen's Gambit, which lets us attack. Our high roll is zero, which means we lose some damage, but we get charging cavalry for free. I know we get other things, like we get King's Castle and Bishop's Edict, but we're only a level two commander and we're taking charging cavalry. So it's easier on the sheet to keep it as little information as possible. So this is a 10 MP cost to have an ally perform a free attack. Bonus to SL for accuracy, HR of zero. So both of us, like us and the companion we're gonna have, are gonna have a high roll of zero. So we do lose some damage, but there are ways to get damage back. And we're actually gonna start with that before we go on. Uh, not that page. No, oh, that's the wrong book. Okay, let's go. Uh, that page. Let's go, I think the rogue is around 200-ish. And I'm gonna PQR. Rogue. I wasn't far off, two or three. 
So we're going to take one level in Rogue. And this is so we can get some damage back. Rogue gets it IP plus two. And we're going to take Cheap Shot. One level in it. So it's um, when enemy has a status effect. Deal SL plus number of effects, more damage. So if we prioritize and we're going to having our elemental be able to deal conditions, then we can use cheap shot to get some damage back is how that's going to work. So that's the rogue part. So let's go to not Tinkerer, Wayfarer. And we're going to have two points in Wayfarer. Free benefits are IP plus two, which means we can fill out our IP, which is going to be 10, which is pretty good. Skill information. Now, we could go two points into Faithful Companion, but there's an argument here for Treasure Hunter because I think it's incredible and I think it should be, at least one person in your group should have this. So, discovery on a travel roll of two or less. So it's skill level plus one or lower, but we can just put two to make the sheet easier. So, because obviously you're gonna be traveling a lot while we're going through the game, this means we get we find twice as many discoveries, which means there's twice as many cool things that we can we can randomly find through doing travel rolls. And then we're going to go Faithful Companion. Take one level. See Companion's Sheet. Okay, so we're going to fill out a Companion Sheet. Now, this is how it looks like. Um, I found this online. Um, and the problem is I found it on a forum post where the person posting the link said that they couldn't remember where they found it. So I can't um, give credit where credit's due for the person who made this. But if anyone knows who made this, leave the name in the comments and I will happily give credit and I'll put it as a little um, timestamp and I'll mention it in the description as well, as well as leaving the link in the description. Okay, so this is our faithful companion elemental we, we can obviously name it something better when we actually go name things i'm just keeping this like this for people so this is a level five elemental so if we look at faithful companion uh does not it does not level up so it will always forever stay level five so i'm going to write down in the description what we need to to build and then we can tick them off as we go because normally i'd build this over two screens but i'm going to show you one screen here so we can have up to two basic attacks uh, so we need to calculate stats and affinities so that's like you know these like bolt and so on and so forth uh, okay, so that's it from the Faithful Companion screen. Let's go to page 302, which is 304 in my thing, designing NPCs. So it's level five. So we've chosen elemental as its species. So we need to, to do its stats. So because we're a might and dex build, I'm gonna go insight and willpower. So we'll go D6 for dex. D10 for insight, D6 for might, D10 for willpower. Okay. So we can now calculate its HP. So its HP, um, according to the sheet, I'll have to go back up to it. Not my for master. So its HP is equal to skill level, which is one, multiplied by the base might die size, which is six plus half your level. So half the level's rounded down, so half the level is two. So plus six is eight. So we only have eight HP with a crisis of four, which isn't much. Um, and then our mine points. Uh, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll, we'll get to mine points again. Okay, so let's go back to the page. So we have stats. 
So our basic attack is attribute, attribute plus five type damage. We're gonna say it's a ranged attack and we will fill in, so we, we will fill in extra details in a minute. We're gonna choose insight and willpower. And obviously if other people want to take like different steps to build this out, that's fine. This is just how I do it. So NPCs gain additional skill every 10 levels, but we don't level up. So we don't. So this bit isn't relevant, except we get do get a number of free skills based on the species, which is on the next page. So initiative, I'm pretty sure it says we don't have initiative. Yeah, yeah, we don't have an initiative. So maximum HP we've already done. Crisis is half. Maximum MP is the NPC's level, which is five plus five times the NPC base willpower dice. So willpower is 10, five times is 50 plus level. So MP is 55. Defense is the dex die. So defense will be six. Magic defense is inside die, which is 10. So it doesn't have any equipment because it's an elemental. Uh, bonus to accuracy checks is based on our um, skill level in the skill. So we can go plus one. Yeah, okay, so next page. Uh, elemental, so elemental has two sk dying skills. So we have dying skills is two. They are immune to poison damage. So immune to poison damage. And they're also immune to a second damage type of your choice. I'm going to pick Bolt. Just because I like Bolt. And they're immune to poison condition. Okay. So the rest are kind of as normal. But we have two skills. So we have a basic attack, which is what we're going to do from our Queen's Gavit Charging Cavalry combo. And... So let's do that one first. So we're going to take special attack. So special attack, we can choose to have the target suffer a status effect. And we are going to pick um, weak as the status effect. So we're going to have it do bolt damage. Because we can pick the damage type. Bolt damage plus causes weak condition. We have special attack. So we can ignore basic attacks now because that's our basic attack. And starting skills are two, so we pick special attack because it's weak, and we're also going to pick spellcaster. No, that's not typing. So Spellcaster has two options. We can either learn one spell and increase our mind points by 10 or learn two spells. And I'm gonna do one spell and 10 MP just because I think it's more useful. So that goes up to 65. And the spell we're gonna take is further on. So there's NPC spells. So we are gonna take Rage. And that is 10 per target up to three creatures instantly and the, each target hit by the spell suffers enraged. So we now have um, two different ways to cause two different conditions. So if I work this out right, we have enraged and we have weak. So if we go back to the spell sheet, uh, which is that one. So enraged causes, it's like slow and dazed and weak would do might. So this combo, affects the die size of everything except for willpower. But shaken is a pretty easy condition for other people to do, um, especially if you've got like a weapon master or a sharpshooter. So that's, I'm kind of fine with that. So let's bring our sheet back up. I think that's everything we need to look at. Let's go back to Wayfarer. So what do we still need? We have initiative, we have all that. Can I have up to two basic attacks? We've got one, but it's arranged, so we'll call it um, 
got a bolt attack. So against Insight Willpower plus one, the plus one is from the fact that we have one here. Uh, we'll go, uh, this is, oh yeah, we have to pick our spell. So when we picked spell casting, spell caster, we have insight or willpower. Plus one to hit. So it doesn't do any damage, but the plus one um, is from our um, not spiritist. It's from the Wayfarer's Faithful Companion point because we get bonus equal to accuracy checks and magic checks. Okay, so that's kind of it. So we we've got special skills. We can add the description. We'll say uh, mental is a swirling. Vortex uh, yellow energy, so it's kind of like a lightning elemental. So yeah, so that is our companion. So let's put you over here. So like I mentioned before, the combo is um, we want to start getting conditions on people. So what I would probably do first turn is not take our turn. We could because we can use an action to command the elemental and the first thing we'll do is to do our rage spell so we'd spend our MP and then that will cause everyone to the targets to be hit by enraged which means they lose both dexterity and insight dice size and then on our next turn when we attack our attack will ch trigger cheap shot which means we'll do a skill level plus one extra damage because even though it affects two dice size it's one condition to start getting damage back but um, our free attack lets us then use charging cavalry which means that our companion can then attack with its bolt attack which causes weak and then from there um, we can have another condition which means the next time we do an attack we can do a normal attack without the companion which means we not only get a high roll but cheap shot deals extra damage again or we can ignore the high roll and we can have our attack deal more bolt damage, do more bolt damage a week to others. Because, say, if there's, um, I need to put that there. Now we'll copy it from here just so it looks like. So, say, if there's, say, if there's an, two enemies on the screen, for example, uh, when we cast Rage, we can hit two, but when we do our bolt attack, it only hits one. So, we can do that on the other one, should we, should we wish. But that's the combo, and this is um, the Beast Commander. Oh yeah, we get martial range to the martial melee. Have we missed anything? HP. HP is might, which is 10 times 5, which is 50, plus level, which is 5, plus other, which is a commander, which is 60. MP is willpower, which is 6, times 5, which is 30, plus level, which is 35, plus other, which we don't have. Cool. So yeah, um, that'll do. Um, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.